The Auditor General published this story. We're going to read the story with you, viewers, and you will see every detail about it. It was sculled from Class FM or so. Can you put the story up and let's see it together? Um, it's, uh, it's entitled, Ministry of Finance pays one million United States dollars to crawl associates for no work done, says the Auditor General. Ministry of Finance, where we have four ministers, one minister and three deputies. We have chief director, we have plenty of people there. They paid one million dollars to crawl associates for no work done. That's the Auditor General's photograph accompanying the story. So here's the story. It says, the Auditor General, AG, Mr. Daniel Yao Domlevo, has accused the Ministry of Finance, MOF, of dishing out payments to third-party organizations, even though no work was executed to warrant such payment. The ministry acquired the services of Kroll Associates in 2017 to recover assets from identified wrongdoers, investigate allegations of wrongdoing, provide evidence for assets recoveries, build capacity for the transfer of skills, give advice on preventive techniques and structures to detect the and forestall future corruption. However, he says, in his annual report on public accounts of Ghana, PAG, on 31st December 2018, on the ministry's departments and agencies, the Auditor General stated, and he said, during our review of the contract with Crow Associates, we noted that though there was no evidence of work done, the ministry in 2018 paid an amount of 1 million United States dollars, the equivalent at that time of 4,890,000 CDs to the company. The report added, and this is quite serious, the report added that there are inconsistencies in some of the documentation. It said, for instance, this is an example of the inconsistency the report is talking about. Though the contract was signed in September 2017, some of the invoices attached to the payment, to the payment vouchers, predated the award of the contract. Can you imagine? This is, this is brutal fraud, if the Auditor General is to be believed. This is brutal and fundamental fraud committed by agencies of the government in cahoots with the foreign company no investigative journalist has done any work about this. Nothing has been done about it. If this was Zoom Lion, by now there is a documentary. This is what the Archbishop is talking about. Why do we do that to ourselves? This brutal fraud has been committed by agencies of the Republic, voted into power and given our power to run affairs at the ministry. This is what the Auditor General is alleging against them. No one has brought any news item, no headline, nothing. Have you, for those of you watching me, how many of you have even heard this? It says the report added that there was inconsistencies in some of the documentation. It said, for instance, that though the contract was awarded in September 2017, some of the invoices attached to the payment vouchers predated the award of the contract. The Auditor General stated that in view of the non-performance of Kroll in executing the contract, the agreement should be abrogated and any money paid to the company recovered and he asked immediately. Crawl, the old government of Ghana, one million United States dollars. Now this is what the Archbishop was talking about. Why do we do that to ourselves? If this was a local company, if this was Zoom Lion, if the Auditor General had said Minister of Finance had paid one million dollars to Zoom Lion for no work done, hey, you would have heard it by now. And you know who I'm talking about. The investigative journalists, big and small, they would have been on it. Why do we do that to ourselves? A British company sitting in England, after 100 years of colonization, they have come to Ministry of Finance, collected $1 million. The Auditor General says for no work done. The Auditor General further says that the invoices that he requested attached to some of the invoices predate the contract. Investigative journalists have seen this. They are aware of it. No one talks about anything. We are talking about contracts for sale for 15000 and 10000 and all of that. The British government, uh, the British co uh, company has taken one million United States dollars out of the Ministry of Finance and taken it to Britain and chopped it. Alleged by the Auditor General. No, no mean a person an Auditor General. And investigative journalists, they, they've forgotten their work. They can't open their eyes and look at it. They don't want to talk about it because it's not a Ghanaian company. If this were a Ghanaian company, by now, 
It will be headline news. It will be on 6 o'clock news. It will be on 5.30 news. It will be on 4.15 news. It will be on Super Money Show. It will be on all the money shows everywhere. That's how it will be. And they'll be talking about it. They'll be talking about it. Because it's a Ghanaian company. Why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we do that to I'm charging all the investigative journalists tonight, big and small. Please, let us hear you on this one. If we don't hear you, we are good evening again. We have to do it ourselves. And by the way, I've spoken to the crawl people, and I know what happened. And I am shocked that no investigative journalist is even interested. If I did themselves, are shocked. If I they thought they were in trouble. When the Auditor General published, they thought they were in trouble. Because if this was in England, they would be in trouble right away. If the British Ministry of Finance had paid that, they call it the Exchequer. If the Exchequer in England had paid $1 million to crawl in England, and the Auditor General in London has said that it is for no work done, by now they will be in trouble. So they thought they were in trouble. But what has happened? Nothing has happened. Zero has happened. Even among the media, the fourth estate of the realm, the Auditor General has reported that our $1 million is going to a foreign company. Nobody is talking about it. This is what the Archbishop was worried about. This is what we do to ourselves as Ghanaians. Because if this was a foreign company, Bernard would have torn the company apart. They would be asking for the company to be shut down. They would be asking for the MD of the company to be put in prison. They would be, have been talking about his exorbitant lifestyle. All the investigative journalists, we should bow down, all of us, we should bow down our head in shame. This is Kwame Nkrumah's Republic, where when something concerns a foreign company, we don't look at it, irrespective of how much is being taken. We don't know what else the Auditor General will find out. How often this has happened in the past and how often it may happen in the future. We are not doing anything to nip it in the bud. All we do is to pull down our local companies. Once they do something wrong, they should close down the company and put the person in jail. Archbishop says that is motivated by hatred. It's not motivated by law. It's motivated by hatred. Let's put today's date down. Let's see which first investigative journalist will have the confidence to look at this matter. Ministry of Finance. They have paid $1 million of you and I our money to a British company. Auditor General says for no work done. He couldn't identify the work that they did. He didn't see it. They just took $1 million and dashed it to a British company. And you're okay with that. You are fine, investigative journalist. You are fine with that. You don't have any problem with it. If it is Zoom line, you have a problem with it. Are we, are we okay? I mean, why do we do that to ourselves? If it's Casa Preco, you have a problem with it, you fight it. If it's NS Chemist, Gitty Gitty, you fight it. If it's Tobinko, you'll be on their head. It's a British company, you haven't seen it. Your Ministry of Finance has paid one million United States dollars to a British company. Investigative journalist in Ghana, you haven't seen it. The Auditor General, your favorite person. The Auditor General is the favorite person of some of the investigative journalists. We know. He has issued it. And he, the Auditor General, too, if it were a, a Ghanaian company, he'll be, be chasing it and talking about surcharging them. Mr. Auditor General, have you noticed that nobody cares about your report about Crow? Have you seen it? Mr. Auditor General, good evening. Have you seen that nobody cares about your report about Crow? What happened to your powers of surcharging? Who are you going to surcharge? Why haven't you surcharged? You said the money should be paid immediately. Have you followed up? Auditor General, have you followed up on our $1 million that you said Ministry of Finance paid to crawl for no work done? Have you followed up? If it were a local company, you would be talking about surcharging. Occupy Ghana says you have the power to surcharge. The court said you have the power to surcharge. What are you doing about crawl? You are telling us they've taken our $1 million. What are you doing about it, Mr. Auditor General? What are you doing about it? An investigative journalist, you haven't seen it. You have not seen this. That a British company has taken our one million United States dollars, paid to them willingly and lily by the Ministry of Finance. Willingly paid by the Ministry of Finance has four ministers, chief directors, directors upon directors, master's degree upon master's degree, PhD upon PhD. They are all at Ministry of Finance. Wall Street, Harvard University, uh, Princeton University, Columbia University, they are all at Ministry of Finance. All of them are there. All the skills in the world that you can find. In fact, the people at our Ministry of Finance, they can run the Exchequer in Britain with ease. They can run it with ease. The qualifications are abundant. They managed to pay $1 million to a British company for no work done. The Auditor General said it. He said, no work done. When the Auditor General said, bring me invoices, 
so that I can ascertain the work that has been done. They brought him invoices that predate the award of the contract. Can you imagine? Will I level 100 students do that? You take invoices that predate, and investigative journalists have not flagged this. They have not seen it. They have not, if it was Zoom Lion, oh my goodness, you can imagine what will happen from the morning show up to the night show, midnight, at dawn. It will be Zoom Lion has paid, been paid $1 million for no work done, and they attach invoices that predate it. They would have laughed at it on the morning show. All of you should bow down your heads in shame. Kwame Nkrumah will be disappointed in all of you. You'll be totally disappointed. If this was a Ghanaian company, they would have sat on the morning show and laughed and laughed and called on the auditor general, called on the attorney general, the police CID, to go and catch the person. What is a British company? You haven't seen it. So you haven't seen it. That the auditor general said that we have paid a British company one million United States dollars. Yeah, they had a choir here who said, um, sorry, I was checking the messages. We had a choir here who sang a song, and uh, I like to believe in the future of this country, you know. So I joined them to sing the song. I will still have hope and confidence that one investigative journalist will look at this matter and come out with a report. And I'm hoping that the report will say that it is not true. I'm praying that the report that comes out will say it is not true. Because I've spoken to the people, and they were frightened that this has been published in Ghana. Oh, today they are not frightened anymore. They are totally shocked that nobody even called them. No media house in Ghana called them. Nobody has sent them an email on their website. They are totally shocked. And I was totally embarrassed when I tried to find out from them that you guys did this and nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. They knew that if this was about Britain, they would have been in serious trouble. But we sit in Ghana and we kill ourselves. We pull each other down. We beat each other up just so that we can laugh at another person. He's a British man. We don't care. They can take all our money. It's okay. It's a Ghanaian. We care because we hate each other. Why do we hate each other? Where are we going with the hatred? Where are we going with it? This is the problem of Ghana. And it's a problem that a new generation must solve. It's a problem that has a solution in Christ. I have to add, it has a solution only in Christ. Without Christ, we can't solve this problem. The solution is in Christ. And those of us who believe in the resurrection power, we should rise up, get up our loins, and solve this problem of our country so that our country will become what God intended it to be, the great nation that God intended it to be. Let us get up our loins and pick up the resurrection power. And in Christ, we can solve these problems. Ghana is indeed my happy home. Have a look. Land of my happy home, my happy home. Land of rich resources, rich resources. Land of mighty talents, rich shouts on the runs. Justice and freedom, and freedom. Ghana, my happy home, my happy home. Home of the brave and virtuous. Love.
America has succeeded over the years and the decades to institutionalize their national agenda and set structures. I, I, I like that. Um, you, you just said America over the years has institutionalized yeah. their national agenda. Yeah. I, like that. I like that. I like that very much. bent on running a responsible administration, mindful of the next generation and not merely the next election. 